Hey guys, what's going on? Rob Bowen 6 here from HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Now, I promised a lot of people on the Hookah Pro forum that I was going to try, I guess, and show up DMC WebD if you all are familiar with him and his crazy experimentations with hookah. Now, I have a decent list of ideas and they all involve bacon. So, my first experiment is going to be a bacon screen. Now this is going to be kind of hard for me to show you guys because I'm doing this on my Mac. So what I'm going to do is try and move everything on this table I have set up here and try and place my laptop up here without breaking it because I still haven't paid it all off yet and I'll be really upset. Now don't know if you guys can see that well, but you can see I have a ball packed right here. I pre-packed the ball. I'm using Social Smoke Clove. Now what I'm going to be doing is making the screen first. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. Now what I did was I placed this foil around the ball to see, you know, the marking of the ball. And right here I have, oh, move the toothpick. I don't want to lose that. I have some raw bacon. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm basically going to be making a f f bacon sandwich. I'm going to place some bacon on here, put another foil on top, and then poke holes in that. And the goal here is to hopefully get a decent smoke out of it, of course. But as the coals heat up the tobacco and cook the tobacco, I'm hoping that it will cook the, t uh, the bacon and pull the f flavor through. And hopefully give it somewhat of an enjoyable taste. Alright, so actually maybe I should put this on the bowl first. Yeah. Alright. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be breaking up some of the bacon. Bacon doesn't break easily. This is fucking gross. And I'm just gonna be placing it on my bowl like so trying to get it as flat as possible try to cover the whole bowl with some uh, good bacon over here alright Wipe my hands off. Got a little baby wipe here. Now, take this foil and wrap it over as tight as possible. Now, I'm getting this kind of lump thing going on here, but what are you going to do? Now, time to try to poke holes through bacon. If you guys could hear that beeping going off, I'm on a tiny chat right now with a bunch of Hookah Pro members. They uh, they were hoping to watch me record the video, but I'm using an internal webcam, so I can't do uh, both videos at once. I basically was putting on a show for Hookah Pro right now. I don't know if this is going through or not, but... I really have no idea if this is working whatsoever. At least after this, I'll be able to eat some bacon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to smoke this. I can feel some of them going through. I guess that's more than enough holes. Hopefully they went through enough to the tobacco. I guess I'll try to get some more because it's not going to be enough airflow. I got bacon clogging it up.
Alright. Seems like more than enough. There we go. You got the uh, the bowl done and ready. Now I'm just going to wait for my coals to finish cooking. And uh, we're going to get to smoking. So I'll be right back in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Um, I don't know if you could hear it, but I just put the coals on like two minutes ago on the bacon. You could hear this shit sizzling. I'm cooking the bacon, basically. I got to keep rotating the coals because uh, I, I really don't want to burn this. I don't want to taste the burnt bacon. But um, as you can see, I'm not bullshitting you guys. I'm using the same thing. You can see a big lump. The coals are hanging off. There's bacon under there. I'll show you guys. <laughs> Not getting much smoke yet because it didn't really get to cooking the uh, the tobacco. But um, you no, know I I taste like a hint of clove right now with like. It smells like hot. It tastes like hot dogs. Let's see. Um, like I said, I don't wanna. I don't wanna burn the bacon. I'm afraid to throw the wind cover on it for like a minute. Let's see. Let's see what happens. As you can see, got the poor man's wind cover on that bitch. Excuse me, just burped up bacon and clove. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not like I'm going to do this all the fucking time. Now it tastes like hints of clove with uh, bacon, burnt bacon now. I think I'm burning my bacon. I'm not going to be able to eat this after. Wow. This shit's cooking. Um, now, would I recommend this? No. It's for fun. Um, actually, I'm going to give a quick little shout out. Um, a hookah pro member goes by the name of Francine. It's his name. Uh, he kept egging me on. He said I wouldn't do this. He said I wouldn't do this. And you know what? I did it. I'm smoking clove and bacon. I don't even think I'm actually getting smoke from the tobacco. I think I'm getting smoke from the bacon. <coughs> yep. Kind of disappointed in myself. Not bad. Not bad. Um... I think I could use a little less bacon and not have uh, bulked it up too much. I think it might have worked better. But uh, this is interesting. Yeah, that's basically all I can say. It's, it's interesting. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. This is Rob Foman 6 And check out hookahpro.com. And be sure to check out. I am doing some more bacon reviews. And I'm going to try to do a couple more crazy experiments. So keep an eye out for those. Peace out, guys, and keep on smoking that bacon.